everyone will hear of my flea market finds for December 3rd 2017 uh, surprisingly I got some pretty good stuff to show you this week uh, it was uh, cold and rainy this morning but uh, still managed to find some good stuff um, uh, well this whole weekend uh, let me show you what I got uh, a uh, Vietnam era um, army uniform uh, that was five bucks let's say uh, army hat I think they call that a Daisy May or something like that um, got that in the shorts army shorts for uh, uh, four dollars piece that last lot of army clothing I got uh, really did well um, Another pair of these uh, World War One pants. Um, I've sold a couple pairs of these for around uh, sixty dollars a pair. I bought these for fifteen. A whole box. Get that leaf out of there. A whole box of uh, got underwear and shirts. Um, all Army World War One World War Two. Um, here's some ties. Never seen a tie that has uh, buttonholes in it. Kind of cool. Um, got the whole box. Uh, this whole box was uh, five dollars. Uh, whole pile of long underwear, army long underwear. Seems like these guys in the uh, that do the reenactments, they want everything original. So here's some old uh, uh, army uh, long underwears. No, oh, in a little uh, uh, duffel bag. So it went well. Um, picture's pretty good. I got her covered up. Um, signed uh, A. Chantron. Uh, there's a, a uh, Andrew Jocks Chantron. Um, his paintings do very well into the thousands. Uh, could not find any examples of photography. Not exactly sure if you if this is a photograph or a print. Uh, nice old piece. Love the frame. Uh, Fifty dollars on that. Uh, could be a um, expensive piece. Uh, Dick Tracy stuff I bought. I just uh, the people were setting up. I said before you even set it out, just give me a price on everything. And I got the entire lot uh, for a hundred bucks. Don't know anything about uh, the Dick Tracy stuff. Um. But I think it's uh, um, some money to be made. Uh, lots of stuff new in the package. Um, hopefully, uh, I think uh, should do okay with that. Uh, moving on. Um, it's a cool piece. It's like, uh, looks like it's from the, haven't done any, uh, uh, research on it. You can see it's been folded. The frame is new, or newer. Um, looks like it's something from the 30s or 40s. Um, published by the DAHWA off, Offset Press. It says, uh, Model of Oriental Beauty. Um, it looks like a signature there in the corner. So, I think I'll take it out of the frame just to see what it says. But, I've never seen pinup art like this that features, um, a model like that. Um, looks like it's been, uh, thumbtacked up in the corners there. Just a really neat old old uh, piece of pinup art. 
Uh, Got to do a bunch of research. It wasn't cheap. Uh, paid eighty dollars for this, but uh, I got a good feeling about it. I think it might do well. Uh, some army stuff. Got a nineteen forty-five canteen with uh, a newer cover. It's got these uh, Alice clips on it. Not sure when they started using Alice clips. Uh, at least might be late fifties. So early 60s and a uh, rifle bag I don't think that that is US but uh, nice well made piece love the model a uh, Boeing uh, I guess that's a missile really cool got the original box that came in Uh, what do we got here? <laughs> Most unusual piece. This is the nose piece off of a swordfish. Um, kind of cool. Couldn't pass it up. 15 bucks. Just uh, looks like it's pretty old too. Got a well, half of a sword. It's a uh, officer's uh, Officer sword uh, Model 1870 I think it is Model 1872 But half a sword. I don't know why it was broke like that um, I love stuff like that uh, that was $32 for that a uh, Belt American Legion three bucks Shotgun shell belt. Looks kind of like it might be military, but I don't think it is. Uh, that was five. Uh, razor uh, in a box. Always buy these when I get them cheap. Uh, it was five bucks. Not quite sure um, on the um, on the pistol frame. Uh, looks like it could be. It's probably black powder. Um, probably 1800s. But uh, cool piece. Some 30 30 ammo. Got a full box and another 12 rounds. Um, that was $15 for a lot. Be keeping that for myself. Got one, two, three, four holsters for uh, $35. And uh, the best of a lot is this one. This is a. World War II, made by Boyd, uh, dated 42, so 1942, great shape, uh, that's probably an 80 to $100 holster right there. This is a copy of a holster, you can see it's not embossed like this one, um, just newer looking all around, still not bad. This would have been a really good one, but somebody cut the uh, flap down uh, Buckheimer and the other one that's just a homemade job uh, demilled 50 cal round uh, my son liked it because it's got a head stamp of 1941 it was made in 1941 uh, pen knife three dollars that's good oil one of the blades is broke but still um, cool little knife. Love the uh, coffee pot. Got a very uh, mid-century modern uh, look to it. Uh, that was five. I uh, normally don't like Linux pieces. I uh, got this for seven. Uh, this is the, the Jefferson vase, Presidential Garden Vase Collection. Uh, very nice looking with the birds. Uh, person had a 50 cent table. Uh, picked that up for 50 cents. Uh, old Ducks Celebrated Cure. An old fashioned maze concoction. No idea what that is, but 50 cents is worth a shot. Couple Occupy Japan pieces. Where is it marked? Uh, up top here. 
it does say occupied Japan. 50 cents, got the uh, articulated mother of pearl uh, fish for eight bucks, kind of cool looking. Uh, box um, insurance 100th anniversary 1960. That was $3. Love the bike tank. Uh, 10 bucks on that. Lots of kids took the tanks off their bikes when it uh, when it became not cool to have a tank on your bike. And now it's a lot of guys looking for original tanks uh, to restore their bikes. Uh, not sure what that'll bring. Uh, I think that's a $50 piece right there. Love the uh, battery operated uh, pom pom gun. Uh, USS Hawkeye. Uh, that was six. War of the Planets uh, movie. Six bucks. Uh, whole book. I'll keep this one for myself about button identification. Um, always need more reference books. A book on the uh, Missouri uh, battleship. Uh, lots of um, perfumes, things like that. Here's a uh, Cartier. Uh, that was 15. Taboo for 10. That should bring good money. The best one is actually is this one that uh, Ma Griffey. Griffey. Um, some of these if it's the old formula, formula, can go for as much as $200. Uh, the Mickey Mouse cup, love it. It's still got the paperwork inside with the original box. Uh, that was $20. Uh, Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Medallion from uh, 19, 1927. Uh, that was 20 bucks, and that should I'll probably put about 100 bucks on that. And didn't look that one up. The uh, Goucher Society couple more old empty uh, perfume bottles people still buy them. Uh, looks like carved ivory. Uh, very colorful. Um, of course, can't call it ivory on eBay. But the uh, necklace and bracelet, 20 bucks. The uh, traveling uh, jewelry box is kind of neat. Uh, who knows the places this has been over the years. Uh, really well made. Um, not sure what went in there, pins or hat pins or um, bracelets, not sure. But uh, and the uh, the snap here um, tests is sterling. But uh, for four bucks, why not? Another necklace uh, that was had fifteen, but couldn't find the earrings with it, so got it for ten. The uh, Parker pen. Not an expert on Parker pens, but uh, I know the blue tip on there means that it's uh, a good one. Uh, wine tasting key, and this is um, sterling. Put this around your neck and go around and uh, taste wine. Uh, this is a chain for like a butler call. You know, this is hanging down next to the uh, sofa or whatever, and you want to call your servant in. You pull down on this, and that uh, rings the chime for the servant to come into the room. Really nice uh, blown glass, uh, high quality piece. Uh, 25 on that. Uh, jewelry finds some amber bracelets. Got uh, that's uh, three ounces of 10 karat gold there uh, not three I wish it was three ounces uh, three grams of 10 karat gold uh, I think 10 karats bringing around sixteen dollars a gram uh, paid 30 for this uh, some 
10 karat earrings, 20 bucks. 14 karat earrings, 20 bucks. Uh, Honora fish brooch. Sterling Geisha Girl, uh, that was 10. Uh, baby Rattle, really love that with the Mother of Pearl uh, handle. Uh, Sterling. I think it was supposed to have a couple of uh, bells on there. <coughs> hmm. um, past the 15 minute mark already. I'm going to end it here. Be right back.